In this video, I want to review how to uh, create a CSV file for parameters that will update on the Scuttle robot and access the CSV data in order to create MQTT messages on Node-RED. So we're going to start our session here. And I'm going to go to, um, I'm in my home directory now. I'm going to go to uh, Pi Scuttle. And right here I have data.csv. I'm going to create a new one. So touch data2.csv and enter and nano data2.csv. Now I can edit it. I'm going to do field one here, tab over, field two here, enter, and I'll put a random value. So 5.5 .5 here, tab over, 5.6 here and I will save it control X Y for save enter now I will go over to uh, well let's just make sure that it's there ls okay so data 2csv is there now in the node red you will create a new flow or uh, add to your existing flow make a timestamp that comes from uh, the inject it automatically defaults to timestamp then you're gonna access a file so this comes from the file uh, not the writing but the reading and we double click it and all you have to modify is home pi pi scuttle data 2.csv you'll have to create write this whole field then we're going to um, change this to tab and that's the only thing you need to modify no be below uh, this line you need to also skip zero lines indicate that the first row contains column names and um, i think this was already checked i will leave it alone one message per row done now message dot payload this is um, unmodified all I did was basically uh, this is the, the debug um, item and I connect it to the output of the CSV just so I could read it but I, I won't be using that now this is just for reading in between um, and ultimately I'll read it on my uh, another device that's watching this um, this topic on the HiveMQ server. So my topic is scuttle slash pi slash GP for gamepad. I'll call it GP. Um, I'll, I'll just leave it as GP. And um, no, GP2, since I have a new file. And click done. And these blue bubbles need to be cleared because it shows there's changes. So I hit deploy. Okay. And then if I watch this one and I click here, it will inject one. So it shows message.payload and it has field one with this value, field two with this value. That means it successfully read uh, the CSV file that I wrote here. And next I want to see if I can view it on my phone. Okay, I opened up uh, the MQT tool app and I add the, the host, port, and client ID. Actually, this client ID is automatically generated. I just click connect. It says it's connected. Then I go to subscribe and I enter the topic I want to subscribe with this GP2. Done. And quality of service two is uh, most reliable for testing, for starting. Hit subscribe. It says I am subscribed now. I'm going to hit inject again on my node red. And there we go. I get one message with both pieces of information. Looks good. Now I'm gonna see if I can uh, export this flow flows export 
selected current flow copy to clipboard now I'll just uh, save this in a gist I'm calling it flow MQTT CSV whoa it's all on one line soft wrap here we are and let's call this one it's the first one not red flow for retrieving CSV info and sending MQTT message. Create public just create. Okay, I'll put this one in the video.